Chicago police say they are on alert and are planning now for a potential replay of the chaos from last weekend. And new tonight at 10, some Chicago teens fear the takeovers could lead to racial profiling. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live in the loop. Jermont. Erica, every teenager out at this intersection last Saturday night was not here to start trouble. And I talk, call up with a group of supervised youngsters who got swept up in this takeover mayhem. And tonight they fear when and if they come back downtown, people might look at them with side eyes because they fit the description. This scene from last weekend of teenagers and young adults jumping on buses, attacking and robbing people in downtown left so many in shock. Yet for others, it was deeper. It was a hurtful feeling just to see black African-American young people down there. Charles McKenzie brought 15 youngsters from his youth mentoring group, Inglewood First Responders downtown, last Saturday. After enjoying dinner on Erie along the Mag Mile, the chaperone team started walking south towards Millennium Park. We still had a good time until up to the point where the um, teens started running in. Eric Anderson and LaTanisha Thomas walked with the mentoring group that night. We just hearing loud crowds come from each side. Overwhelmed because like just why? Yet when they saw who was causing the panic. It really made me feel like kind of angry a little bit. Because those wreaking havoc looked just like them and that fear turned into shame. They send that image for us as a community. The majority in the crowd were unsupervised black teens. It's believed these downtown takeovers and recordings are all for social media clout. But much of what we saw was criminal, not mischievous. People were injured, property damage, and two were shot. They put it on social media so people are gonna see it. People are gonna look at you like you this type of person, like you a gangster or you Tough. But even at age 14, Lantanisha can't understand how those teens don't see their actions could lead to racial profiling. They look at us like, okay, you got one black child doing wrong, so all black kids do wrong, when it's really not that at all. The youngsters from the mentoring group and many like them say they are afraid to come back. Should nobody feel like they don't want to go downtown? So what do these youngsters believe it will take to stop the takeovers? I feel like somebody with a lot of clout just needs to, you know, show us like it's other stuff you or can do or like somebody that come from our city that came from where we come from that's that well been known we've been through and tell them like no nah, stop doing this it ain't the way it go like but until that celebrity steps up uh, we're told that the community clergy and cops are ready we should also point out everyone is insisting that parents or guardians they have to do their part first to make sure that these takeovers do not continue Reporting live in the loop, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? Okay, Jermont, thank you.